Thanks so much for stopping by. First, I would like to take a second to thank my subscribers for following along my this my crazy DIY journey. I'm so happy that you're here. I really hope that you're learning new things and um, just genuinely like to follow my journeys. I learn as I go, I make a lot of mistakes and I'm so happy that you're here to witness it and to learn with me. If you remember last week, I made the DIY shelves uh, for $40 in lumber and it, they're so easy and so cheap to make. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure to uh, check it out. I'm gonna leave you the link below and uh, yeah, it's just pure joy. $40, easy, fast, and uh, they serve the purpose. What else do you want from the garage shelf? So today we're going to be tackling in another part of the garage, which actually uh, contains all the tools and all the saws that I have. So our garage serves as a storage and also as my workshop. I've got a lot of uh, tools here and they all needed a place to stay. So when I saw that uh, ultimate tool bench from Anna White's plants, I was so impressed and I was so in love that I just felt that I absolutely need one. It's gonna be the first part of how I made this tool bench. So next week, watch out for another part of this tool bench, but let's get started. Today, we're gonna to build a stand for the ultimate tool bench. This is the wood that I have for the, for the bench that we're gonna be using today. As soon as I started making this bench, I realized that my garage floors are so uneven, so I had to bring the plywood shed to put it under to make it an even flooring to build this stand. As I was like saying before in my previous videos, do not be uh, too cheap with the glue because the glue is quite essential apparently in most of the builds and um, yeah, so if you want your structure to be to last for a long time, you definitely need a glue. So till the moment I actually opened my uh, table saw, because I didn't try it yet, I had to learn how to rip the wood using a circle saw. Let me show you now guys uh, how to rip the wood, uh, the plywood, if you don't have a table saw. So I just recently got a table saw but I didn't get a chance to use it yet and uh, 
I don't want to learn it today. So I decided to show you how to rip plywood using only circle saw. There's a bunch of other options that you can do, but what I did to measure an inch from where your circle saw blade will go and uh, clamp down uh, a plank is going to serve as a guide while you're using the circle saw. It's actually so much easier than I thought it would be and uh, now I'm questioning if I even need the table saw uh, altogether because circle saw apparently is such a powerful uh, tool that could be used for so many different things. Turn out of the bread nails for my uh, bread nail gun, and uh, yeah, now I'm gonna be doing it the old school way with a hammer and just some finishing nails. And we're done with at least some part of it, of this uh, project. Over here, I just like saw this corner. Check it out. You see, it's so not perfect, but you know what? I mean, it is what it is. I can toot a lily with it. Uh, so I ran into a little problem when I leveled up the size the brackets for the shelf for the minor saw shelf uh, I realized that my The floors in my garage are not even so instead of leveling it up the shelf with the ground I decided to level it with the Structure itself and in the meantime, I just gonna put them. Um, I just gonna level up the miter saw on this stand Something like that. Much better, much better. To a better place. Check it out. I'm off. Can you believe this? I have to redo this whole thing again. The whole shelf, the Marisol shelf, to make it fit. Oh my God. I'm so tired. I think I'm done for today. Uh, I've been in the garage for like already three hours and look at what I completed. I am so excited. I mean, like 
finally, 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 my uh, my chop saw has a, has a place. I mean, it basically has a home. This is such a, such a wonderful moment. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you learned something new and uh, now you know how to build a stand for the ultimate tool bench. Please make sure to subscribe and come back next week to see what I did wrong while making cards and what little accident I had. I mean, actually, it wasn't that little. Anyway, so that was my first accident while woodworking and uh, yes, I'm gonna give, be giving you a lot of great tips about how to avoid uh, injuries so you're gonna learn on my example <laughs> which is probably the best thing to do you don't want to learn on your example so come back come back next week to see the second part of this ultimate garage makeover I'll see you then